So one of the biggest kills for horsepower is heat. You want to learn how to reduce engine bay temperatures and increase horsepower, a cheap and cost-effective way? Well, stick around and we'll show you how. All right, so welcome back to Tech Tuesday. Uh, today's topic is heat management. So uh, engine bay heat can be a real killer of horsepower. Uh, at best, it can kill horsepower. At worst, it can actually create catastrophic engine bay fires from hoses and whatnot uh, bursting and catching on fire. So the easiest way to manage uh, the heat in the engine bay and increase performance is products like these. So um, what you can see here is an array of products from DCI Performance that we've used for, for many, many years on, on a lot of our cars. Um, some of you are probably familiar with things like this, like a header wrap. You may have seen stuff like this silicon protection in race vehicles, and you've probably seen stuff like this in OE. So we'll cover this off in a bit more depth of why you might or might not use some of this now. And we'll start over here with the header wrap. Now, header wrap is probably the most cost-effective uh, way to manage heat in your engine bay. It is primarily designed just for exhaust piping to, you know, that, that's where the heat, most of the heat's generated from, of course. So you would wrap this around your exhaust system, whether that it be it's a turbo manifold or, or a dump pipe or, or a header manifold, even on a naturally aspirated car. You might use hose clamps or stainless steel tires or locking wire or whatever to retain it in its place. And what this does is it creates a barrier basically to retain the heat in that pipe. Um, and then it is expelled somewhere else down the system out of your engine bay. Extra heat retained in the pipes can also be a, a benefit in regards to turbo spool time. So there's a benefit there, but the main benefit is, is engine bay heat and protecting that uh, your engine bay from heat soak, but also protecting hoses that might be in the near uh, vicinity from radiant heat. Probably the only detractor from this is it can retain water. So if you do have a street car and, and the pipes may be uh, a little low and you may um, run through a puddle or things like that, water will soak into this and it can be retained. And uh, that can lead to rusting of, of your, you know, premature rusting of your engine bay components such as your exhaust manifolds and, and exhaust and stuff like that. But overall, it's really good. Um, we did have our manifold, you can see here from Project Redline, ceramic coated. However, there's still a fair bit of radiant heat coming off that. And with a rotary where you've got an exhaust manifold here and the intake manifold right here, um, I, I just want to actually, I just wanted to wrap this manifold just to give it that extra layer of heat protection to stop that radiant heat coming into the engine bay. Uh, it also helps us turn the car around quicker and will help us hopefully uh, with a little bit better performance because there's less heat soak. So that's the header wrap. Next one you can actually see we've used some of it here and, and some here on, on Project Redline um, previously is basically hose shields. So this is uh, a one piece hose shield in silicon. Uh, this is rated up to about 260, so it's 500 degree Fahrenheit uh, temperature. So this I traditionally use on, on vacuum lines or hoses that probably aren't going to be in direct contact or, or near too close to really, really hot surfaces, but I still want that protection. Also offers a good abrasive protection because braided hoses such as this, this Teflon, line, this Teflon liner here, which is uh, a stainless liner, that can rub away at paintwork. So if you've got a nice expensive um, you know, show car and you wanna protect the paintwork from this being rubbed, or I mean, also if this rubs, it can rub through the, the liner and then could eventually you know rub through this leading to hose failure as well so this this is obviously heat protection but it's also a sleeve to protect from abrasive wear as well uh, so that's very easy to work with it's silicon you can see how pliable it is so you know you can bend it in all kinds of shapes so if you've got to twist it through a, a pretty tight area this is probably the one to go for this stuff is called a thermoshield t6 so you can see here it's actually split and it's got uh, an adhesive edge here. So once you've fed the hose through, it might be a hose that's already on the car, like a power steering hose or something like that, where you can't just take it off and easily feed through something like this. You can cut this into sections and feed it through, stick it into place. And as you can see with Project Redline, these hoses have been on there for about four and a bit years now, and, and they look fine. We haven't had any hose failure, no leaks, no, any, no issues with temperature and that. And um, yeah, and you, as you can see, they're right next to the, to the exhaust housing 
an exhaust manifold and uh, the oil drain, uh, one of the other drains almost touches the uh, exhaust manifold and it's been fine. So these ones are actually, as it says here, max operating temperature 600, 760 degrees Celsius. So um, that one's got super, super heat uh, protection and you can see it's sort of the similar kind of uh, weave, fiberglass weave in here as the silicon stuff does, but it's just got a, a much uh, better flame retardant and fire retardant uh, shielding on the outside. Last but not least is, is something you'll probably see generally in a lot of OE applications. So this stuff is very much race car or street car or performance car orientated. This type of stuff is if you pop the bonnet and people have probably seen this, you've all, all seen, you know, the ever popular Barra engine. You would have seen something like this on that Barra turbo exhaust manifold. It's it's very well, uh, very popular, very easy to work with. So this shield here, um, as it says here, sheet hot uh, HD, max operating temperature of 900 degrees. The premise behind heat shielding is that air is actually a really good insulator. So if you think of your um, your cooler box or your Esky, they're actually it might be an outside plastic layer, then a big layer of air because air is actually one of the best insulators uh, there is. So what the idea behind this is, is that you'll place this over your exhaust manifold, insert and um, bend it up and, and fold it up and cut it into certain ways. And the air gap created will actually insulate the, the product there. So this is the same premise here. This is actually a catalytic converter. So you know catalytic converters get super, super hot by nature. That's how they have to operate. Uh, this is actually a cat converter you put on top of your cat and clamp it in place with some hose clamps and that'll stop that radiant heat coming into uh, your driver's cabin. These catalytic converters are generally right under where you're sitting almost. So if they're operating at big, big temperatures and you can keep that temperature out from radiating into the cabin, uh, it's a big one there. So that would be one for all the streetcar guys, especially guys doing drag challenge and drag week. If you've got, you know, if you've got street cars that happen to have a cat converter because they're running unleaded fuels, that's one that's almost uh, unmissable. They also do one for starter motors and things like that too. So super stuff for that there. This is pretty much um, what you get. This is from DCI Performance. It's ultra, ultra high quality stuff. I've been using it for oh, 10 plus years now. I used to work at a performance part um, wholesaler and we've sold the stuff for uh, many, many years. It's great stuff. You'll see it on top end cars everywhere. They've even worked with some of the OE manufacturers because it's that high quality stuff. Uh, last but not least, one of the best things that we like is it is Australian made. So we've always said we will love to run and promote Australian companies where we believe they're making the best quality products in the world. And this is, this is another case of it. So uh, you want to know more about this stuff? Uh, you can head over to their website, which is on the back of this, I believe. You can see there's dciperformance.com.au. So just head over to there if you want to know more and they'll be able to um, guide you in the ways of heat protection. All right, so thanks for joining us today. Hope you learned a bit there. If you could hit the subscribe button, it really helps us. Also ring the bell so you get up to date with notifications when they come out. Also give us a like if you found this video helpful. Uh, for today, that's all and we'll see you next time.